patellar liberator and carefully go underneath the dermis to release the scar bands that are causing the rolling acne scars. One can hear an audible popping of the scar bands as we release them from the deeper tissues. We offer training for this particular procedure that is very important to do in a precise manner to avoid any injury to underlying nerves and vessels. We have safely performed over a thousand of these procedures over the past 10 years. By releasing the scar bands, it allows the rolling acne scars to pop up and level, similar to if one were to cut the strings on buttoned upholstery. Now we are drawing blood, and we are going to use this blood to make platelet-rich plasma, also called PRP. The blood is injected into a tube that will be used in a centrifuge. The centrifuge takes about 10 minutes to spin the blood and separate the red cells from the platelet-rich plasma. During the time the blood is spinning, we use a fractional CO2 erbium or a fractional 1064 nanometer laser to do fractional ablative resurfacing on the area of the rolling acne scars. After doing that, we place an 810 nanometer diode light over the skin that reduces swelling and inflammation. Once we have processed the blood and have platelet-rich plasma, we will withdraw the PRP or platelet-rich plasma from the tube that we used to process it. These are the stem cells that we use. This is a product called WJF that we obtained from Predictive Biotech in Salt Lake City, Utah. This product is a mesenchymal stem cell tissue derived from the umbilical cord of newborn babies. We store this in liquid nitrogen in our office. Once we have aspirated the stem cells into the PRP that we have collected. Then we will put a sterile connector between two syringes and we mix that product together to make sure that we have a uniform product containing both platelet-rich plasma and the WJ flow um, mesenchymal stem cell tissue. We then put on a blunt cannula here we are drizzling the PRP and stem cells over the laser holes that we have created, in this case, using the fractional CO2 laser. Once we have applied this to the surface and covered it with plastic wrap, we will also take some of the product and place it underneath the skin where we've done the subcision.
within place an oxygen dome over the patient's face and deliver pure oxygen and 630 nanometer red light that starts the heating process. If you'd like to see the before and after photos, please go to gatewaylasercenter.com or call 801-595-1600 to schedule an appointment.